watch some TV. Oh, binge watching TV again, Jack? I'll be sure to tell the advertisers. Good thing your TV provider doesn't charge by the hour. Wait, is my smart TV watching me? I didn't agree to that. <laughs> sure you did. It was right there during setup. It looks like somebody likes to watch lots and lots of reality television. Oh, wait a minute, I remember. Something about smart interactivity. Ah, I don't care about that. You don't care that I just told advertisers that you watch 10 hours of TV on a Tuesday? Looks like somebody needs to get a real job. Hey, get your hand off of my popcorn. Ow! Oh, hey, Bobby. Hey, Jack. Luckily, I had invited Bobby Richter over to hang out with me. He's part of the Consumer Reports team that tests products for data security and privacy to let consumers know which ones best protect their data. Is my smart TV really watching me? No, I don't see any cameras or anything, but it is collecting data about you. Hold on a second. What kind of data is it collecting? Data about what you watch, your network provider, what kinds of things you search for, what kind of advertisements show up on the screen, all sorts of things. Why do TV makers want to collect my data, and what are they doing with it? They collect all of this data so that they can advertise to you. Um, they can know who their customers are, and they can uh, provide them with better, better services. Why is this important for consumers to know? Well, if you want to keep control of your data, maintain your privacy, turn off some of the features on the TV, and take back that control. It's what some manufacturers call ACR, or Automatic Content Recognition. That lets us know what you are watching, even if you're just streaming online video or watching your own DVDs. How do I turn off the data collection features on my TV? Well, it depends on the TV, but it's pretty simple to find. While all TVs are different, here's a basic guide. Have to go to menu. Some TVs give ACR its own proprietary name, so you'll need to look for that and toggle this feature off. Ah, no, wait, not that one. On other TVs, you'll need to go to settings, then terms and policies, then disable viewing information services. Wait, don't do that. We need that setting. When you buy a new smart TV during setup, read the agreements carefully. In all cases, there's a wealth of information online to help you disable the features you don't want on your specific television. All right, let's grab some popcorn and watch this. You know.